Hi, good morning. It's Miss Rachel again with the Leonardo and Leo at home. And today we are gonna read a really fun story. And I bet you can take a guess about what this one is about. I am standing in front of our history of buoyancy flight, part of our flight exhibit, where we talk all about hot air balloons. Today, we are gonna read a really fun story called Hot Air, the mostly true story of the first hot air balloon ride. This story is extra special. So I'm ready and excited to share this with you today. Hot Air, the mostly true story of the first hot air balloon ride by Marjorie Priceman. September 19th, 1783. Thousands of people have come to watch an incredible experiment at the Palace of Versailles in France. Ah, Versailles. 700 rooms, 67 staircases, 15 fountains, 2,000 acres of manicured gardens, too many chandeliers, and gold bathtubs to count but enough about that. What a crowd has assembled. Scientists, school children, opera singers, and architects. Noblemen, farmers, and one famous pastry chef. Even the American ambassador, Benjamin Franklin, is here. And of course, King Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette. But enough about that. The demonstration is about to begin. After months of work and many sleepless nights, the amateur inventors, Joseph and Etienne Montgolfier, are ready to test a new exciting kind of transportation, the hot air balloon. So never mind the important people and the splendid surroundings. Pay no attention to that lady with the towering hairdo or that little dog. Look instead to the basket attached by slender ropes to the balloon now rising high above the crowd. Inside that basket are ballooning's first brave passengers. Now I want to take a second and pause. Can you guess? Make a prediction. Who are the passengers going to be? Do you think it will be someone really famous? Do you think it will be someone that we've already talked about in our story? Ready to find out? A duck, a sheep, and a rooster. This is their story. This story is extra special because we don't use a lot of words to tell our story because our main characters, the duck, the sheep, and the rooster, they don't speak English. Instead, they use their faces and their facial expressions to communicate. So we're gonna have to take a close look at these pictures. Whack, ba, Did someone respond? <laughs> I see our friends and they look pretty relaxed traveling over a river. Let's see what happens next. Now I see this right here. This makes me think of wind. And I see the wind is pushing and bolstering our basket. And then look what else. It brought up all of these really cool clothes. And now our rooster is hanging off the edge. How silly. cock a doodle doo he looks really alarmed. Why do you think he's alarmed? Taking a closer look, I can see that there's this really pointy spire. Cluck, cluck. Ah, good news, the sheep noticed and he helped fix our problem. Bah! What now? What's causing the problem now? I notice all of these birds as they're flying really fast in a pointed shape towards our balloon. Why would that be dangerous? What's scary about that? It looks like they were able to move the balloon. Lucky duck, sheep, and rooster. But oh no, something happened. I see that our friends are trying to help our duck as he's falling. Quack, quack, quack. What do you think's gonna happen next? Oh, he landed in a pond and on a fountain and it's pushing him back up. It looks like a lot of fun. And he made it back to our balloon okay. Then he starts to shake and shake and what happens? It starts to fill up with water. Oh no, what are our friends going to do? They're flying in the sky and there's water filling up their basket. I see a quite inventive solution. They almost look like a fountain themselves blowing the water out. It's kind of cute and artistic. But then, the biggest drama of all, as they are flying, along comes a tiny baby bird. And pop! Our baby bird has caused a rip in the balloon. 
Oh no, our friends cluck, bah, quack. I can look at their faces and I can see this. I recognize this look. That's the look that I have when something's happening and I don't know what to do and I get a little scared. I look surprised, I look shocked, I look worried. Do you think our friends will make it out okay? Make a prediction. Will they land safely? Ah, oh, happiness and joy, a historic event. Our brave aviators who have touched down in the woods of Valcrasson are found in fine fluff and feather and carried back to Versailles. There, they are greeted with flowers, song, and better food than usual. But enough about that. You may be wondering, did this really happen? Well, yes, sort of. The Montgolfiers were real people who are considered the inventors of the hot air balloon and the fathers of aviation. The September 19, 1783 balloon flight with barnyard animal passengers is a matter of historical record. But the details of the flight may or may not be true. The author heard this part of the story from a duck who heard it from a sheep who heard it from a rooster a long, long time ago. And that is Hot Air, the mostly true story of the first hot air balloon ride. If you want to rewatch this video, we'll have it posted on our website as well as on our Facebook. And I have some additional questions that come along with it so you can read along and hang out with your kids and enjoy the story. Um, come back tomorrow at the same time, 10 o'clock, and we will have another really fun experiment. Tomorrow we're going to make our very own parachutes, and it's going to be a really good time. Thanks for joining me today for Storytime. I really appreciate you guys. Have a great rest of your day.